Hello again, it is Kid Shine and I'm Terence. I'm Dirkie. That's right, we have a long song for you today. And this song says, whoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. We're going to have a look at quite a few people in the Bible. They all called upon the name of Jesus and they all were saved. Okay, are you ready? You're going to have to shout with me because it goes like this. Whoever calls, 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 calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever calls, 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 calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever, wherever, whenever, whatever. Whoever calls upon the name of Jesus, you will be Let's look at a few people. Let's start with Joseph. Joseph, he got sold and ended in jail. He called out. Guess what? He ended up my friend's coaching. <laughs> Let's look at David. David faced the giant with five small stones. He called out. Guess what? Goliath stood no more. Timber! <laughs> Let's look at Daniel. Daniel in the den with hungry lions. He called out. Guess what? They couldn't take a bite. Meow! And let's look at Jonah. Jonah in the well for three whole days. He called out, guess what? That fish spat him out. Sploosh! <laughs> Here we go, let's sing. Whoever calls, 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 calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever calls, 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 calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever, wherever, whenever, whatever, whoever calls upon the name of Jesus, you will be saved. Hey, we've still got a few more people, this time in the New Testament. So let's look at them. We're going to start with the disciples. Disciples. In a boat, in a terrible storm, they called out, guess what? Jesus said, be still. Shh. And what about blind man Bartimaeus? Oh, yes. Blind man Bartimaeus in the dark for 30 years. He called out, guess what? He finally saw the light. <laughs> and of course, Mary. Mary at the tomb, Jesus had died. She called out, Guess what? He lives for more. Yay! Let's sing one more time. Here we go. Let me hear you. Whoever calls, 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 calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever calls, calls. Calls, calls, calls upon the name of the Lord. Whoever, wherever, whenever, whatever. Whoever calls upon the name of Jesus, you will be saved. Whoever calls upon the name of Jesus. You will be saved. Do you know why? Because Jesus is alive. What a wonderful Lord we have. He is alive. Isn't that amazing? But now you can sit down because it is parable time. Parables. What's a parable? Parables. What's a parable? Parables a story that Jesus taught so we could understand what you mean. Understand what you mean. Understand more about Jesus' love. 
Parom, 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 parom. I love fishing, oh yes. Oh, I can see that, Timmy. Mm. I've been waiting a long time, no fish. <laughs> Timmy, I don't think you're going to be catching fish here in the swimming pool. Yeah, but there's water. No, you know what, you should really go to like a river Ooh. or a dam. Then oh, you'll, you'll maybe find some far. fish. Yeah, too far. I sit here, I wait. <laughs> mm. But you know, Timmy, all you're going to be catching here is all kinds of different things. Anything but fish. Ah. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe some grass and weeds. Oh, and in the swimming weeds. pool. <laughs> yes. Oh. But you know what, Timmy, mm. that actually reminds me of a parable that Jesus told. Oh, I like it. It's a parable, a yes. story. Well, let's see. It's about the fishing. Yes, you know what? A lot of people were fishing in Jesus' days. Oh. And that's why he told a lot of parables about fishing and things okay. like that. Okay, so, okay. Oh, this parable is in Matthew 13, mm -hmm. verse 47. Oh, okay. Yes, and it's called the parable of the dragnet. A, do a dragnet? Yes, well, it's basically a net uh -huh. that they used in those days to throw into the sea and uh -huh. then to pull it out full of fish. Okay. But in this parable, they did not only catch fish. Okay. Let's watch and see. Hmm. One day... A fisherman prepared to go and catch fish, the same as he did every other day. He made sure his nets were mended and ready, and then he loaded all his gear onto his fishing boat and set off out into the sea. He sailed for a long time, far from the land, in search of the perfect spot, where he knew the fish would be. When he arrived at the correct place, he took his nets and he lowered them down into the water. Then there was nothing else to do but wait and wait and wait. After many hours there was much splashing in the water. He pulled up the nets. They were filled with many fish. Fish of different colors, fish of different shapes, fish of different sizes, all in the net. He was very happy. He heaved and heaved until the entire haul was up, out of the water and on the boat. Content with what he had, he then headed home. To the docks. It had been a good day out and he had caught so many fish but his work had not finished yet. No, he still needed to get back and sort through all that he had caught to see which he could keep and which he could not. Once he arrived back at the docks, he took his net and he poured all of the fish out. He saw that he had many different types, but they were all mixed up together. He spent a long time separating the good fish from the bad ones. 
The ones he could sell or eat, he put on one side. The ones that he could not, he put on the other side. The bad fish, he took those and threw them back into the sea. They were not worth holding on to. The others, the ones that were good, those he kept. I didn't catch nothing, and that man in the story, he catching lots of fish. Mm. That's right, mm. Timmy, and you know what, this story is all about the day mm. when Jesus is coming back for us. What? Huh? Yes. But for fish, I don't get it. No, the fish in the story, did you see there were many different kinds of fish that uh -huh. the fishermen caught? Yeah. Some were good fish mm -hmm. that he kept, Anga. and some were bad fish. And you mm -hmm. saw what happened to the bad fish. He threw them in the sea. That's right. Now, when Jesus is coming back for us, mm -hmm. we are the good fish, his huh? children. Uh -huh. His children who have asked him into their hearts, who believe in him, and we are waiting for him to come back for us. Okay. And the bad fish huh? are those who do not. Oh, oh no, oh so, no. So Timmy, let's pray. Okay. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this parable that reminds us, Lord, that you're coming back for all the people on the earth one day. But Lord, that they are good fish that belong to you, your children, Lord. And you are coming back for those who believe in you. But for the bad fish, Lord, they will be cast away. And today I want to pray for each boy and girl listening, Lord. If there's any boy or girl who have not asked you into their heart, Lord, that today they will pray, Jesus, come into my heart. Touch me that I may become one of yours for that day when you're coming back to fetch your children, that I may be part of that day, Lord. Please touch hearts today. Reach children's hearts today, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen. <laughs> Amen Tami. Thank you.